Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. My name is Francesco and what I try and do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward with your productivity. So in this episode, what I wanted to do is show you a really cool tool called Pocket. Uh, and probably a lot of you have heard of this. Um, and what I wanted to do is recommend it based on its kind of, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit out there in terms of productivity, but it's a little bit... Uh, opportunistic for a lot of people who do a lot of reading on the web and that want to want to save time when it comes to being able to store stuff um, and I think this is a perfect tool for those sorts of people so you've probably been using a lot of services that have some sort of save link feature I know that Facebook has a save video feature Quora has a save for later feature what it allows you to do is as across your day uh, whether you're on your iPhone your Android phone your uh, computer your mac your pc whatever it is this one's a chromebook in front of me as per every other video um, it allows you to store any web page that you come across so for example here is my list and once you've created a pocket account you get a list uh, and once you get started essentially what you can do is start saving articles uh, relevant youtube videos uh, whatever it is um, in terms of content uh, you can start saving them as things for later. And that's quite valuable. Um, you can save everything from articles, videos, images, and you can tag them all as well. Uh, it's quite valuable because a lot of the time when you're going across your day, you know, you might be at work, you might be at a different event, you might be you know, traveling home on the train. And there's periods of time where you actually don't have time to access a lot of this content based on you don't have time to read it. And you don't want to get rid of it because it might be valuable to you later. Um, so this is where Pocket exists. This is where Pocket comes into play. So essentially what you do is, is you go across your day. So let's say I'm on this article. Uh, I was reading it just now, you know, Slack down, a lesson in brand engagement. And what I simply do, very similar to what the Evernote Web Clipper does, but even more kind of, uh, I don't know, even more simplistic than it, is print, hit save to Pocket. And what it will essentially do is it will bring it directly over to my Pocket account. See, there we go, refreshed, without even touching it, it's gone straight into my account. And if I access that through my iOS device or through my Android device or for my Mac and PC, if I set it so it's offline, uh, I'm on the web at the moment, but if I've got this over here, which is uh, the Pocket app for uh, Chromebook, I can access all offline, which is great because I could go through all my files, right? I could like read all of my articles on a long haul journey, or I could read all my articles on the train home when there's no Wi-Fi or internet. So it's really beneficial for that. It's being able to allow you to access them for later, which is great. So what else can you do with these? You can share these. You can even archive them once you've read them. You can delete them. You can favorite them. So you can start them for later if they're really valuable and you must read them. Or you can add tags. And I've already created some tags like must read. And they go into a tagging system over here where you can access all of your must reads or you know whatever you want. It could be languages or Span um, Spanish if you're learning Spanish. It could be marketing if you're trying to develop new marketing it can be Twitter if you want anything related to Twitter. So it's a useful way to kind of organize all of that kind of stuff. They've also got uh, the recommended feature, which basically takes all of your content and it kind of churns it up and finds articles that it thinks will you will like, uh, which is quite useful, which is very clever as well uh, and very beneficial to the, the average user. So the account is free to start off with. Uh, it's free ongoing, which is great. Um, you can email into Pocket as well, which is great. So if you've got uh, someone sends you an article or an email or anything uh, kind of video or image relevant, you can save it directly. You can send it directly to an email address, which will save it for later, which is really handy. Um, you can access the kind of different types of views on here, which is really great because it gives you that functionality um, on top of that. On top of this, you could go premium if you wanted. Um, Pocket Premium is a very simplistic model, uh, but what it allows you to do is using, you know, I think it's I think it's actually three ninety nine in the UK pounds. <laughs> I'm just going to do it in UK. It's three ninety nine a month and thirty four pound ninety nine a year in um, 
UK pounds. What it allows you to do is essentially uh, go a bit deeper. So your list can become a permanent uh, resource. Um, so that becomes really valuable uh, and you can have that backup list, which is really handy. Um, and then also you can go a bit deeper with all of your interests. It's got a stronger searching searching feature um, and access to advanced search. Uh, it gets you organized faster, so it kind of takes a bit um, of context from each of the tasks and personalize all of the suggestions. Um, you can also search for um, content within content, um, search, search for stuff within stuff you've already create, um, created, uh, and you can even find everything at a glance, uh, and it's accessible, all of that. So as you can see, um, you can save anything from all of these 800 apps, um, and on iOS and Android, it's so simple to do it. And on 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 Mac, um, Chromebook as well, it's really easy to get that Chrome extension too. So it's more of a kind of when you're using it um, on premium, you can actually get access to a lot more features in terms of tagging, uh, searching, and going a bit deeper with all of the different pieces of content, which is great. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'd use it because I'm not heavily, heavily using Pocket, but it's something that you should explore. I find that the offline version is something that's really exciting. It's really fun to use because it doesn't you don't have to rely on an internet connection and that's quite powerful. I like the recommended section because I tend to find a lot of articles that I like in this section um, because it takes all the stuff that you've already put in and then just churns out a new versions of it essentially. But I really like what it's doing at the moment. Um, so they're doing a good job. My predictions for Pocket are that they're going to be working in the future to try and make everything more contextual so that you can get a more kind of embedded experience. I think that obviously when it comes to having this sources of information, they need to do a better job at being able to kind of import certain things to it so there's more imagery involved. But essentially, I think that they could become a really useful aggregator and I, I think they are already of content uh, throughout all of your services as well. I think they could tag into Facebook, Twitter, everything else like that a little more and get access to that. But anyway, uh, that's a overview of Pocket. I recommend it for anyone that kind of is traveling, anyone that wants to continually uh, store some of their stuff for later and for people that just basically want to save some time when it comes to reading and being able to access things on the go. So thank you very much, everyone. I just want to show you this one. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. And one thing I actually want to show in and throw in a kind of extra benefit is that you can do the following. Um, so there's a site called IFTTT, and a lot of people do know this. Um, and essentially what it does do is it allows you to take one action, and whenever that action happens, it creates another action. So if I just sign into my account, uh, what you can do is essentially, you know, as you say here, is you can make a workflow for yourself. So once I sign back into my account, what you can do here, uh, and I want us to kind of do this ad hoc because I want the experience to be good. So as you can see, one of the if recipe recommended is save links from liked, favorited tweets to Pocket. And this is a really simple example of what you can do with if IFTTD. You can save anything. Uh, so if you like something on Facebook, it could go to your pocket. If you shared something on Facebook, it could go to your pocket. And by simply searching pocket or going to channels and pocket, you can see all of the different things you can do using uh, or accessing pocket. So if you click, you know, save videos in pocket and to your watch later, you know, mark videos as watch later on Vimeos to save to pocket, save your archive list to pocket, tweets, uh, you know, no, one note, everything, imagery, everything you can get there, right? And essentially what it's doing is, oh, of course, you've got all these storage tools out there, but you want to kind of condense it down to one thing. So that's how uh, you can use IFTTT with Pocket. You simply uh, sign in, make a IFTTT account, and then start plugging in your kind of uh, Pocket account and also accounts that you want related to it. So that can be really beneficial. That's kind of my extra tip for today. Uh, but anyway, guys, I just wanted to let you know to make sure you have a great week and keep productive. Keep watching my videos, share this one if you liked it, and also subscribe to me. I really appreciate it if you subscribe to me. I love when people subscribe to me. I, it's amazing. So thank you very much. Make sure you have a great week and keep productive. Cheers, guys.